Yes. Wherefore the law is holy, uh -huh. and the and the commandment is holy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And just and good. <laughs> now this uh was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid. But sin that it might uh that it might appear sin worketh uh death in me by that which is good. <laughs> That sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. <laughs> now, uh, for we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. <laughs> now, I know you're sitting there and knowing of crime. Yeah. And in your mind, you don't have to enforce the laws. It's as if the law is not holy. Yes. But the law is holy. Folks, each of those guarantees, <laughs> when you understand... Well, you're allowing sin to work in you, the sin of being deceived <laughs> into thinking that you don't have to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> now, for each and every individual where you're a mandatory reporter, yes, a civil rights coordinator, yes, all of those in the family that said, no, <laughs> we don't have to enforce the Constitution. <laughs> See, the Old Testament law, yes, is for the most part Judaism. Yes, they don't believe the Messiah has actually appeared yet. <laughs> the New Testament, Testament yes, <laughs> a lot of evangelicals, that's where they do their reading at. <laughs> But for you to sit there every fucking day and act like you don't have to do what the law says, <laughs> you have made unholy what is holy because of what the law says. <laughs> now you can sit there in your sin, but the truth of the matter is it will increase and you will become exceedingly sinful. I can't believe the perversion. <laughs> you have to enforce the law. I told you that. <laughs> See, in numerous occasions, I made mention in videos and quite possibly emails, you, ooch, in law enforcement, yeah, have to enforce the law because you make the law unholy when you don't enforce it, <laughs> increasing your propensity to sinfulness. <laughs> <laughs>